just made it and boy am I dying. Woo! Michael over here feels on top of the world. <laughs> He's like not out of breath at all. He has the real gains, we're over here wimps. But we made it to our second spot even though we climbed three different peaks today. But it's okay. Woo! After a long one, it wasn't yeah, easy. Congratulations, <laughs> the three of you. Woo, right, you nice guys you. too. Oh, you too, Laura. This yeah. is the last one for us for the five summit. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. what we're doing too. Yeah. Yeah. How many? This is our second. Oh. This we just your started second? this morning. Yeah, yeah we just yeah. started this morning. Oh. Up here, I want to shout to the top of my lungs. Oh my God. Woo! All, all y'all with you. This is the last one. Ready? Woo! <laughs> I like this. <laughs> yeah! We made it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys had some questions for Luis and I, and um, one of you have asked if when we met, we were both vegan, or oh, I was vegan when we met, or if we both ate meat when we first met, because at the moment he still eats meat and I'm almost at two years um, vegan here. When we first met, no, <laughs> I was not vegan. We both ate meat. I loved a lot of steak, especially medium rare. I liked it juicy. Um, so it was a transition. I guess it was about a year into our relationship that I went vegan. Uh, and <laughs> it was a transition. It was a hard one, but a great choice for me. It was a little bit hard for the both of us at first, kind of transitioning, getting accustomed to what I can't eat and what I wanted to because the cravings were real. But I think um, I'll do another, another video on why I actually went vegan. I do have a video on my one year experience of being vegan. I'll link it down below. Another shameless promo, but that's okay. I think in the future I will do a full video on exactly why and how I uh, went vegan. So stay tuned for that in the near future. Another question, I guess this one was more for me, um, was how I feel after transitioning being vegan and me pretty much being the only vegan in my family besides my sister. My sister went vegan like a year or two or maybe a little bit, I don't know exactly how long before I went vegan. Um, we were pretty healthy in the family. It's a little bit hard obviously because my mom is an amazing cook so when I go home and I see and smell her food, I'm like so tempted at the same time because the smell is just amazing because she spices things up. Uh, but. Uh, it's hard let me tell you but honestly my family is pretty supportive I got lucky on that and they see the change and see the benefits that it has given me so they're really for it and they really push me to continue um, doing what I'm doing so I got really lucky with that and I'm really grateful for my family so if you're watching thank you mom thank you sister aunt cousins freaking love you all but yeah it's not that hard and if if I go somewhere you know I either eat ahead of time prep it it's really easy, I guess, once you get accustomed to it and doing it regularly. And once right. once you go vegan for a few months and you get you get it like in a, into a routine, I should say, it, it comes naturally, honestly. So it's not as hard, but the, the support I have from him, even though he still eats meat, he's very supportive in what I do. Um, and I love him and appreciate him for that. So thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would be a lot harder, honestly, if I didn't have as much of a support system as I do. Though, honestly, I would love it to have more vegan friends or family in person because I think it would make it a lot, a lot, a lot easier than what it was for me in the beginning if more people around me were vegan. <laughs> we got some great questions. Uh, we got some personal ones. Honestly, I don't know if I want to answer all of the personal ones because this is my social platform and I got to choose, I guess, what I put out there. Um, and some things, you know, my private life, I want to keep private. And if I choose to eventually kind of put it out there, I will. But at this moment, mm -mm. and I thank you for those great, <laughs> great questions. But 
Um, there's some parts of my life that I want to keep quiet. I pretty much tell you guys everything and I like and I want to be very transparent when I'm here because I want to show you my journey and how um, real this is. So you know if I can do it you can do it as well but for sure some things you know I want to keep on the DL and in my private life because I don't want to share completely everything everything you know. Catch my drift. I think that's about it. We can do some more later. Yeah. Yeah, we'll answer some more questions, I guess, on the other hikes. We still have three more summits to hit, and we're going to hit them all, even though we already did three, so technically we did six, even though, because we climbed two summits twice this morning, but that's all right, as you know. So yeah, catch you later. All right, so we finished, um, was it Piles Peak? There we go, and now we are at our third location to do Kuei Pei. Um, trail, but we wanted to fuel up because man, since we did Kyle's Mountain twice, we are freaking exhausted. That sun is takes like everything, all the energy out of you. But I made some spring rolls. <laughs> Bear with me, these though, because this is my first time making these, and the rolling isn't the greatest, and they're pretty skinny. But let me show you. See that? Here they are. Here we are on the spring rolls. I have cabbage, tomato, cucumber, lettuce, uh, um, yellow pepper, a... and avocado in here. So we're going yeah. to devour them right now uh, and then continue up the trail. Oh, no, it's right. <laughs> so Michael asked me, we're just about to go uh, do our third hike of the day and <laughs> technically fourth of the day and he asked me the hardest part about being vegan I don't know I think at first especially dating a meat eater was kind of hard because one finding things like a restaurant and then making sure <laughs> making sure like we both have something to eat also maybe like restaurants is kind of hard or going to like events or like friends friend things so like I would either have to um, eat ahead of time or either bring enough like prepare food for me to eat or um, either like bring enough food for me but then a little bit extra so like I, I won't be rude and then like if someone asks me like what I'm eating I, I'm able to share and then I'm able to like if they like it I can, I can be like oh it's fully vegan and then kind of spark a conversation there um, but sometimes not always no one like not everyone's interested but I think I think that was the hardest part kind of Oh, and letting go of the cheese. I really enjoy cheese. That was kind of the hardest for me. So finding alternatives, like in meat alternatives and cheese alternatives helped a lot. And there's a lot, especially now, there's a lot of different cheese and meat alternatives out there. So you just gotta find like the right brand or whatever that you prefer, honestly, and just makes it so much easier. doing it <laughs> it's fun we made it we stopped a little bit so we left him behind sorry baby but we're here third peak third peak fork hike <laughs> third peak fourth hike of the day He is literally like 30 seconds after us. That was fast. Did you run some? Woo! Um, this one was a fast hike, I feel like, on the way up. It didn't take us that long to get up here, but towards the end, there was just a bunch of stairs, and it was totally a thigh killer, let me tell you. I had to stretch a little bit. My, my hip hurts a little bit from all this walking. But it was a good one. Two more to go. What'd you say? I agree, it was redoing that too. I also made some tuna from chickpea, or chickpeas I should say. I also have this recipe and I'll link the, I'll link it down below in the description for how to make some vegan tuna with chickpeas. 
Um, I toasted bread, or Luis toasted bread for me this morning ahead of time, so we have the bread here. And then I have some lettuce and tomato in here, and I'm gonna stack it up. So clearly, <laughs> we are no longer hiking. I am on my patio on the porch right now outside and it's freaking, the sun is killer right now. I don't even know if you can see that, but regardless, we are dead, we are fried, exhausted. The sun has been scorching hot all day, almost 90. Um, we would say failed the challenge on doing all five peaks on one day. Um, it really wasn't a challenge to do it all in one day anyway. It was just uh, the challenge was for the national parks of um, for the national parks. It was just you have to climb the five peaks, take a picture, and then you email it out to them, and then they give you a certificate of completion, pretty much, to say that you completed the five peaks. And if you take a picture with your dog that saying that your dog hiked all five of them, they give your dog a little pin to put like on, on their collar, saying that the dog also hiked um, the five peaks with you, which I think is kind of cool and fun to do because honestly, at the top, you get to see, at the top of every summit, you get to see San Diego in pretty much its entirety, or at least like some area of San Diego, which is absolutely amazing. Um, Cowles Mountain has to, happens to be my favorite hike out of them all. I mean, we didn't, the ones we didn't do were North and South Fortuna. I think what got us was doing Cowles Mountain, Cowles Mountain twice. So I think that really kind of like killed us. So technically we did climb four different mountains today, even though it was only three peaks. So I think we did freaking great. We hiked for a total of, let me tell you, uh, about four hours and 15 minutes. I mean, it took us a little longer with the driving. The intention was just to drive from, um, mountain to mountain because it's all really it's pretty much all together in a line anyway i packed a whole bunch of lunch as you saw the spring rolls the tuna snacks the power balls um louise had a bunch of cliff bars as well and our friend i know not very really vegan friendly but some jerky and some other chips and stuff that he brought it was really well prepared and the intention was just to go in and out into the car out to the mountain um, and then back into the car and then to the next one which is what we did with the four different mountains which is great um, so we're just gonna finish the other two and then the rest of the questions that we didn't get to um, next weekend going with the flow and our bodies were telling us we were exhausted we burned over let me tell you about 2,000 calories so I think that was pretty damn freaking great and like four hours and 15 minutes of actual hiking so yeah um, I'm gonna wrap it up here and thank you so much for watching I appreciate you more than you know um, I'm going to get these videos flowing again weekly every Thursday I still want to do my sorry there's an airplane I live very close to the airport here but um I do kind of want to continue doing the Tuesday Talks with Noelia. I know they kind of been all over the place. The last few months of my life have been a little bit hectic and crazy and I'm trying to get everything back in order and I'm finally feeling like myself, so I'm happy about it, so I'm here to serve you because I feel like if, if I'm in a rut and I'm kind of feeling low, I can't really, if I can't help myself, I can't help you or I can't serve others. So now I'm finally feeling better and I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm present and I love being behind the camera. I love creating, I love just talking and I love just everything and all of new things are happening too um, in the next couple of weeks my life is going to be changing so again <laughs> but for the better I feel like so no complaints there um, but yeah I think I'm blabbing I'm wrapping it up follow me on Instagram for more daily posts and more updates on what I'm doing daily at laluna underscore health I would love for you to see me there um, other than that catch me every Thursday for sure here and every other week on Tuesdays for Tuesday talks thank you I love you have a blessed day what am I trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say on that one let me just cut it